furious officials just took their city back from Muslims by banning them from their favorite thing. It is clear that we are at war with the religion of Islam and the liberal elites that are pushing this dangerous ideology on the American people. Over the past several years, there has been a steady increase in Muslim migrants and refugees flooding other countries around the world and America too. While some countries seem fine with the massive influx of Muslims there are others that are not too keen on them, and now one country is taking steps to take their city back. America was indeed founded on groups of people coming here to make a better life for themselves. However, the immigrants of the past coming to our country assimilated to the culture and did not attempt to take it over. Sadly, we have seen the complete opposite happening in America and as well in Europe too. These Muslim refugees are taking over towns and then using the justice system to help them with their global caliphate. Muslims understand that in order for them to achieve world domination, they must spread their religion to every part of the world, and with the help of leftist politicians, they have been able to make this a reality. Hydra is an Islamic tactic which essentially means, Jihad by immigration, a tactic what is the foundation of what Islam was built on. These Muslims flood countries and spread their language and culture in an attempt to take them over. We have seen this happening in Germany, France, England, and of course, right here in America. While liberal politicians wring their hands and call Muslims that commit crimes diversity and multicultural, one country is not having any of it. Officials in China's Xinjiang region have decided to ban Muslims from using their language in schools. This ban comes on the heels after tight restrictions were implemented on Muslims in the region which also includes a ban on fasting during Ramadan. Of course, the left is already screaming that this is wrong and totalitarian, but is it really? The school wants the students to only speak Mandarin and to use it in school, they are not dictating this to be at home as well. Truth be told, having a national language and culture is what brings unity to a country and not to have one can cause issues. Here is more from Daily Mail. Authorities in China's Xinjiang region have banned China's Muslims from using their language in schools. Last month, the Houghton government in northwestern China prohibited the use of the Uyghur language from being used in schools including preschool. The new move comes after strict restrictions on Muslims in the region including a ban on fasting during Ramadan. The move was announced in a notice on the website of Xinjiang's Houghton region. It said that the use of the Uyghur language was banned from preschool, all the way to secondary school. The notice claimed that the move aimed to fully popularize the national common language. Signs around the schools also have to be in Mandarin. The move will come into effect in September, in time for the new school semester. An Uyghur official told Radio Free Asia that even the Uyghur textbooks will be replaced with Chinese textbooks from inland China. The news was confirmed by the World Uyghur Congress who say that the ban is currently in place in one prefecture of Xinjiang province. However, it's not unlikely that the ban could spread province-wide in the future. William Ney, researcher at Amnesty International told May Online. The Communist Party has been pushing bilingual education over the past few years, but in reality, it seems as that the real goal is to encourage Mandarin while hollowing out the role of the Uyghur language, and in the long run, presumably weaken Uyghur identity as a potential unifying, political force. However, many Uyghurs are extremely concerned that their language and culture is being systematically suppressed, so this type of heavy-handed policy has the potential to backfire. Xinjiang is home to 10.37 million Uyghurs who practice the Muslim faith. It is a four-and-a-half-hour flight from Beijing. Many Muslims in the country say they feel victimized by the government who have tightened control on the region. For some time, the Chinese government has been cracking down on Muslim activity in the region of Xinjiang under the guise of tackling extremism and terrorist behavior. Cities across America could take a lesson from this small town in China since what they are doing makes absolutely perfect sense. It is not racist or xenophobic to expect that students on campus speak one cohesive language so that everyone understands each other. For instance, just take a look at what is happening in Dearborn, 
Michigan and how these Muslims have taken over an entire city. In order for a country to sustain itself and culture, there must be a cohesive language and culture. Once you start to chip away at that and allow other cultures to take over it creates division in a nation. There is nothing wrong with taking pride in your country and what it stands for, and hopefully, in due time, we can have that here in America again soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.